Oh, I'm a little nervous now. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for coming to my talk. My name is Shui. I would like to present our photo taking assisting system, Smart Eye. Before my talk, I want to know who loves taking photo. Yeah, almost everyone likes taking photo. People engage in capturing every memorable moment in their lives and sharing these photos through social networks such as Instagram, Snapchat, and other. Let's begin with the video. Take high quality and viral authentic photos is quite challenging. A good photo requires expertise in photography such as deciding distance to target objects, their poses, and the overall scene composition. The difference between professional and amateur photo is obvious. Many elements in photos may contribute to the difference, but what's the most important factor in good photo? The answer may be composition. So our ultimate goal is to have our next expert user take high quality composed photo. Many methods have high photo composition. The most common method is taking photo and save it first then use some tools to recompose the photo. More recent progress, some data-driven methods can help users taking photo. For example, we proposed a view proposal network. It can automatically suggest a lot of composition candidates with different aspect ratio, content, and region. To simplify, given a photo as input, VPN can output some composition candidates with score it's a real-time algorithm which can reach 75 FPS. But photo composition highly involves subjective preference. This method didn't take into account personalized composition preference. So we compose Smart Eye. When users take a photo with their smartphone, Smart Eye can suggest real-time photo composition candidates. As users take a photo with Smart Eye, our composition recommendation algorithm will learn, update, learn, update. It can adapt to user preference interactively and progressively. So Smart Eye will suggest more personalized composition the longer it is used. The preference model contains two parts, a VPN and a P module. Given photo, the back end algorithm works as follows. Step one, VPN suggests initial composition. Step two, P module computes the personalized score. Step three, it computes the adjusted score by assembling the two models sorted and displayed to users. Step four, user select composition from the display candidates. It will serve as training sample to update the P module. But modeling user preference is pretty difficult. How to design feature to model user preference? At first, composition suggested by VPN had different size as per ratio region, so we tried to extract features from these factors, but it doesn't work well. Then, based on some related work, we extract a lot of authentic features. It doesn't perform well either. After that, we use convolution network to extract a feature map of comp composition and reduce its dimension. Unfortunately, its performance is not satisfactory. So we conducted a preliminary study to investigate what user preference is. We conducted our user study on 16 participants with various photograph skill. Among the participants, five were members of College Photography Association, three were graduate students majoring in arts, and the rest didn't report any expertise in photography. We first of all collect two data sets that uh, device in terms of contents, style, and aspect ratio. We process all photos with VPN, and each photo got five recommended compositions. For each participant, we give her 150 photos to score, and we collected 12,000 photos with preference score. We also ask, ask each participant to fill a questionnaire and interview them. For example, what will you think when you are taking a photo? What factors did you consider when choose a composition? Why do you like this one? Why do you think the one you choose is better than others? After this task, we both collect data to train P module and get some valuable insights to design features. 
We got some insightful feedback from study one. When taking a photo, I want to object to form scoring ratio, especially when I take landscape photos. The raw search is one of the most common techniques I use when taking a photo. I don't like the photo to be cropped too much. Oh, it's related to my usual photography habits. I prefer using 16 to 9 aspect ratio on my mobile phone. There are many other interesting feedbacks. And we have drawn some experience from them. Based on the preliminary study results, composition role, assenting knowledge, and previous works, we designed a set of corresponding features, including geometry-based. For example, the geometrical center size in pixel relative size to the original photo aspect ratio and offset to left, right, top, bottom boundary of the original photo and stylus based, such as coordinate of the center point of silent region, then composition rule based, such as distance between the silent region and the golden ratio line, and the photograph based, such as brightness, contrast, saturation, and the color balance. And this figure is the silent region uh, in the photos. Based on 16 participants' selection in task one, we computed the Spearman and Pearson correlation coefficients between the user score and each of the features. It can be seen that the correlation varies from different participants. Almost every participant pays attention to geometry-based feature and stylism-based feature. It's also interesting that the skilled user seem to focus more on silency and the composition role-based feature. The difference in feature correlation also reflects the difference in composition preference among participants. By the way, all features are significantly correlated. Let's build the PIM module. We expect the PIM module to be robust noise, efficient in score prediction, efficient in updating. And when a user takes a photo with smart eye, she will select her favorite composition to see. It's a, it's a natural labeling procedure. The selected one can be regarded as a positive symbol. Others can be randomly added as a negative symbol. So we imply P module with logic regression, which can output a scalar user preference score based on the extracted feature vector. We integrate P module with VPN by adjusting their weight in the final score. The weight is computed by a parameter called the confidence score, which describes how similar a photo is to the previous selected composition. The more similar the current photo is to the existing photo, the higher the confidence score is, the greater the P module weights in the final score. We calculate the com photo composition distance by computing the Euclidean distance of other design feature vector. It can be seen that photos with similar composition are closer in the two dimension feature of space. But is it not enough to only have a real time model? We need to make this algorithm friendly for users and apply it to the photo taking scenario. So we implement a prototype for Android device and iPhone. We designed a friendly and a novel user interface with, with rich features to connect the user and the model. The interface is divided into two parts. The top is a view area, the bottom is a thumbnail list. SmartEye also provides some gestures to active sport function. Let's have a look at the sport function. When moving the phone, Smart Wheel Finder will suggest composition candidates with different aspect ratio in real time. Smart Zoom is an intelligent zoom function and allows the user to zoom automatically to a scale of the current photo for the best composition. Smart Score displays real-time dynamic score on the top of the view area, indicating the quality of the current composition captured by the phone's camera. If the composition is of high quality, the color of the frame is green, otherwise red. In addition, we also provide some other functions such as confidence score, uh, customize some dial list, and free cutting, and so on. Smart Eye seems great, uh, but does the P module have a good performance? Sorry. 
To investigate effectiveness of P-module, we conducted the second task. We let participants choose composition proposed by different system. In the task, we additionally collect 50 photos of various style as well as ratio and contents. Uh, for each photo, we pick the top five wheel generated by different models and let participants select favorite one. The three models are VPN with P-module, the pure VPN, and a baseline named Silency with face detector. We evaluate their performance by a measurement named the top one selection rate. It means how many compositions with the high score are selected by participants. Let's have a look at the results. It can be seen that for every participant, a P module has the best performance. Uh, the overall top one selection rate also indicates the funding. We did pairwise t-test on data. The results show that P-module outperforms VPN and baseline significantly. To investigate the usability of smart eye, we conduct another two ta tasks. The third task is letting participants compose photo on mobile device with different system. We deployed three algorithm and a native camera on mobile device. First of all, we encourage participants to play with all the functions before starting task. Next, we alternate the order. Participants use the different system to counterbalance the order effects. Then participants were asked to take at least 30 photos using each system. Finally, they were required to fill a post-task post questionnaire. Uh, we then conducted the fourth task. In this task, we let each participant use smart eye continuously for months. Each participant is required to take at least five photos every day with smart eye. We recorded the selected composition every day and calculated the average top one selection rate of 16 participants uh, in each day. Daily top one selection rate shows that smart eye is able to model user preference and refine itself to, uh, with increasing user's preference data. Maybe investigating a long-term long effect can be an interesting future work. Additionally, we select two user history data and calculate the correlation between features and different types uh, and their preference score. This figure shows that the correlation gets changed weekly. It can be found that users may have different preferences over time. What's more, it strongly demonstrates the necessity of modeling user preference for subjective tasks. Our preliminary and post questionnaire were based on a five point scale. All participants gave positive scores. To conclude our work, we mainly have three contributions. First, we propose a novel approach that can model user preference in photo composition tasks. We propose a paradigm that integrates user preference modeling with deep learning algorithm. We show the effectiveness of user preference modeling and its integration with deep view proposal network through two study tasks. In the future, we are going to continue our work in the following way. First of all, by adopting more advanced suggestion model, Smart Eye can further advance its performance. What's more, develop algorithm and interaction techniques to share the, in the learning results among many users and utilize them in a collaborative manner. Besides, just the camera moving direction uh, could be an interesting future work. In addition, we need to explain more about the decision made by the model. Yeah, thank you. And uh, I'm, all up, I'm applying for PhD. If you have any interest, please contact me. Any question? Thank you. So we'll uh, take questions by handing over the mic to whoever has questions. Hi, uh, David. I'm in Shama, FXPAL. Uh, really nice work. Uh, I like that you gave a uh, choice of options in your system because that's what most literature points to. People don't want just the automatic answer. They want to pick from a set, even if they kick, pick the same one over and over again. Uh, my question was almost two parts. First of all, um, what expertise level were your participants? 
Um, Were they like, did they have DSLRs or did, or did they just use cell phones? Did you gauge any level of expertise amongst the participants? Yeah, uh, we, um, we have uh, concluded their expertise in photography. They are about uh, four years photographic experience. Uh, and uh, maybe eight of them are normal user, and eight of them are skilled user. Yeah. Okay, good. And then the second thing, are you worried that um, constantly training on, against uh, the model, against the photos that they are taking and picking, it's going to sort of converge to a certain style? Have you thought about maybe pulling in influences from uh, Instagram or other public feeds where you could start to see what other ex uh, styles are being experimented with and bringing those into the su suggestion pool to do some randomness and, uh, and, and expansion? Yeah, good question. Uh, uh, because our work is based on uh, the proposal network named the VPN. VPN uh, is trained by millions of data. It, uh, it perhaps uh, have already considered the uh, style uh, and all kinds of factors of uh, photo. Uh, yeah, thank you. So I'm wondering, you uh, showed a lot of landscape photos, and you also showed some portrait photos. Yeah. Were there differences in, your, in the application for faces versus landscape? Uh, yeah, we have demonstrated uh, the, all kinds of photos, uh, such as uh, portrait, landscape, uh, but uh, it all works. It uh, all works, okay. By our model. And the users also found that this works well for them. Yeah, yeah. Across. Okay. Because you know, some people taking photographs are generally more into portrait photography, and some are more into landscape photography. Yeah. And I guess if you're very much into one versus the other, then mm. maybe it influences. Yes. Um, other questions? Hi, Peter from Graz University. Yes. Um, I wanted to ask, so you said it's a real-time capable, the system. And uh, if you, I saw a photo where there's a dog running through the picture, so does it automatically adjust the, the, view, the virtual viewfinder, or uh, do you have to move the phone yourself? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's randomly taken by myself, and I didn't <laughs> resolve it, and I didn't process it, um, because uh, the slice uh, was uh, uh, finished yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> no enough, not enough time. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm now a master degree candidate in China, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, other questions? Okay, if there's no questions, then uh, please just thank our speaker again. Thank you.